Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts update video. This is going to be a pretty short video. I only have a couple things to show. I'm going to share with you guys a couple of my recent pickups. This is going to be my double billing of horror movies that I'm going to watch tonight. And I also want to share with you guys kind of a horror story that I had recently ordering through Amazon. I want to share my story with you guys in hopes that maybe it would help you in the future. I feel like I made a rookie mistake and uh, pretty embarrassed about it. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. I'll save that for the end. But the two titles that I'm talking about that I got recently in the mail last couple days, I did a, a, a live stream a couple days ago, and I can't remember if I showed this or not, but this is going to be on my to-watch list for tonight. This is going to be Feature number one, this is called Curse 3 Blood Sacrifice, starring the late, great Christopher Lee. This is from Scorpion Releasing. I picked this up through Ronin Flicks. And it looks, I, this is a, a blind buy for me. I've never seen the film. I've never seen either of these two films that I'm going to show you today. So it's going to be a kind of a fun little watch for me. And just to kind of go over the synopsis here on the back, it says, Legendary Christopher Lee stars in this chilling thriller. An African witch doctor summons a demon-like creature to torture an American who interrupted a tribal ceremony in an attempt to keep them from sacrificing a goat. As a result, a witch doctor puts a curse on her and her family. It isn't long before the demon from the sea is stalking the family and anyone else they know. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. It's a film from 1991. It is rated R. It is 88 minutes, it does have subtitles. And um, unfortunately, this one did not come with a slipcover. It was never issued with a slipcover. And it doesn't have any reversible art and no booklet or anything. It's just uh, kind of a basic um, a bare bones release. And I'm not even sure if this has any bonus features. I don't see anything listed on the back. And I think this was listed on Ronin Flix for, I believe it was $19.99. I could be mistaken about that. It might have been $17.99, something like that. But if you guys are interested, please go check out Ronin Flix and pick up Curse 3 Blood Sacrifice. Looking forward to checking that one out. The second one I'm pretty excited about. This is an Arrow video release. Guillermo del Toro's Crimson Peak. And this is the collector's edition. Comes in this beautiful packaging. I'm going to do a little unboxing here. I did see that quite a few people on YouTube did pick this up and already have done unboxing videos, but I want to do my own. Go over all the specs and all that stuff here for you guys. It is a Region B. And it is uh, says feature running time 119 minutes, so that's uh, pretty significant. It's a two hour movie. It was uh, released in 2015 and Arrow Video just recently put this out. And I believe they're pretty low on stock for this one. I was lucky to grab this. I ordered it directly from Arrow Video. So if you guys are interested, you may want to go over to Arrow Video on their website and check it out. Uh, I'm not sure how much stock they have left, but I'm, I'm assuming it's pretty low. So go check that out. And uh, limited edition contents, you get the high def Blu-ray, 1080p. Uh, you get uh, optional English subtitles. I always do like to watch my movies with subtitles. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to kind of scan through and pick out some of the good stuff here. I don't want to go through all of these. If you want to pause that and read every single special feature, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, you get the Gothic Corridor, the Scullery, and the Red Clay Mines. The Limbo Fog Set, four featurettes exploring different aspects of Allerdale Hall. A primer on Gothic romance. The director and stars talk about the key traits of Gothic romance. Man, this thing is just packed. You get a, a, a living thing. A look at the design, modeling, and construction of the Allerdale Hall sets. Um, you get video essays. Um, you get four double-sided postcards. We're going to bust into here in a second and, and take a look at those. You get limited edition packaging, newly designed by Crimson Peak concept artist Guy Davis. A limited edition 80-page hardbound book 
featuring new writing by David Jenkins and Simon Abrams, an archival interview with Del Toro and original conceptual design illustrations by artists Guy Davis and Oscar Ciccone. And just to kind of give you guys a brief synopsis, if anybody wants to comment down below, let me know what I'm in for with this movie without giving any spoilers, please let me know. I always do love Del Toro's work. I think he's a, a genius director. From the imagination of Oscar-winning Del Toro, who did Pan's Labyrinth, The Shape of Water, to name a couple, comes Crimson Peak, a lavish, stunningly realized journey into the dark heart of gothic romance. Beginning in Buffalo, New York during the 1880s, Crimson Peak stars uh, Mia Waskowska, uh, I probably butchered that, as Edith Cushing, an aspiring writer who is haunted by the death of her mother. Edith falls in love with a seductive stranger who is played by Tom Hiddleston, who whisks her off to Allerdale Hall. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Boasting incredibly intricate and ornate production design and rich visual style, Del Toro's film is grandiose, boldly baroque, triumphant in gothic decadence, with expertly, which expertly combines and contrasts the sublimely beautiful with the shockingly grotesque. Crimson Peak is presented here in sumptuous special packaging with a wealth of extras, affording unprecedented insight into the making of this modern gothic classic. So let us uh, peel off the plastic and take a look at this. It comes in this, um, it almost looks like it's a book. The packaging is really, really nice on this. Take off this J card here with this little plastic sticker. And it, If you look at the design of it, it looks like it's a book. You got the spine here, and then it opens up. There's a little ribbon to pull out the insides. Pretty cool uh, J card. So there is where the Blu-ray disc is housed in the back. Very, very nice design. Like that packaging. And before we get into the hard bound book, we'll look at the art cards. First here is the part of their catalog, the little advertising insert that they put in their releases and it uh, has Schlock, Jonathan Landis film. And you get some really nice looking art cards here, two-sided, some actors from the film. Really, really nice images. There's Mr. Tom Hiddleston. Also does come with the poster. See if I can pull this out without wasting too much time. It's a double-sided poster. There is one image. And the reverse. Oh, that looks cool with that, that mansion in the background. This is going to be part two of my double bill tonight. And here is the hardbound book. It comes in its own slipcover, which is pretty cool. I don't remember ever seeing that before. It's a great idea. And this book is a beauty. Not going to go through every single page, but I will kind of flip through a little bit. There's some contents, cast and crew, really, really nice images from the film, some write-ups, 
Let's see if I can just kind of do a little flip through. It talks about the transfer, the production credits. What a beautiful book. Really, really nice edition. And I strongly recommend picking this one up if you guys haven't already. Really, really nice. So that is Crimson Peak. Again, if you guys want to chime in below and talk about it without giving any spoilers, I would like to hear from you guys about it. And I want to tell you guys about the the little snafu I made ordering through Amazon. And a little bit embarrassed about it, a little bit of frustration. I ordered, a, I'm gonna show you guys this again. I get absolutely nothing for pitching horrormerch.com and they had nothing to do with what I'm gonna talk about. But everything that I buy from now on that's horror figure related will be through horror merch and I won't have any more headaches and nightmares like I did. This is the Jason Voorhees Part 5, A New Beginning. I ordered two of them because I want to send one as a gift to my friend Darren Crowder. And I ordered these through Amazon, not realizing that they were coming directly from China. So these figures were 30 bucks a piece. I didn't realize at first that they were coming from China. It took a month to get to me, and when they shipped them to me, they were in a bag, not even in a box. They were in a plastic bag, and the boxes that they came in were pretty crushed. Now, I tried to do a little doctoring, and what I did was, I'll take you guys over here real quick. I have a pretty nice book collection, and what I did was I took the figures out of the box. I flattened the box, and I put it in between these books for a couple days to try to get it smoothed out and it does look like it worked quite a bit I mean it does look it looks pretty good now the thing about horror figures to me is the box is almost as important as the figure I love to keep my figures in the box I think the box art is definitely a huge part of the figure because you get all the different um, I mean, look at that. That's that's just that's awesome. Why why wouldn't you want your box? So to me, it's very important to have a nice crisp box. So now I'm trying to get a refund, at least a partial refund, and I'm trying to communicate with this Chinese seller. Uh, Amazon is a lot different than eBay. If you have a problem with your eBay purchase and your PayPal, you basically you get a refund right away. Amazon is a little bit different. You have to, when you file a complaint, Amazon wants you to try to work things out with the seller. The Chinese seller wanted me to send him pictures, which I did, and he can't figure out why I'm not happy with the purchase if the figure itself wasn't damaged, and it's not. The figures are in pristine condition. It was the box. He's fighting me on this, and he's saying that the box is really nothing to worry about. As long as the figure was fine, the box is, is disposable, in his opinion. So it's frustrating, and I'm trying to go through and work things out. And uh, But anyway, I think it did turn out pretty decent. Um, it looks a lot better than it did. You can see that there still is some damage right there. I don't know if you guys can, can see that. There's a little bit of a crease, and it was... Both of the boxes were damaged at about the same spot. And um, Darren, I'm going to send you the better one. They're both about the same. I'm going to send you the one that's a little bit in better condition. Um, but from now on, um, I wouldn't have ordered it directly from China because I they just try to hurry up and get things out. They don't care about packaging. They're not going to try to... to uh, secure your purchase once you once you pay they don't care they just throw it in a bag and send it in a in a tugboat <laughs> across the great pond um, so that's why I wanted to kind of reiterate to, to um, do your shopping at horror merch or somebody that you trust or at least pay attention if you're gonna buy on on Amazon to make sure that you're you know that you're getting what you expect to get 
from who you expect to get it from, if that makes sense. If I would have never bought it from China if I knew it was going to take a month and they were going to ship it in a bag. So that was my little gripe, and uh, that's my little horror story. It, it really frustrated me, but I think I, I kind of fixed it to the point where I'm pretty happy with it. So it, maybe he'll give me some of my money back, um, but I'm not going to ship these back. I'm not going to spend money. to. You can see that even at the top here. These were kind of banged up. But that will get tucked in. You're not going to see that. Once the box is closed, that will get tucked in. You won't even see that. So anyways, guys, that was my little rant and my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what I'm in for for either of these films if you have seen them. Uh, actually, let me show a little more detail on this uh, part five. You get, uh, you get an awl. You get a machete. You get a split hand, you get Jason's tombstone in the back, you get three different heads, which is really, really cool, and the detail is phenomenal. This this really looks good. And then you get the, uh, the worms coming out of the mask and a bloody double-headed axe, and it's really nice. I, I mean, I'm all in all, I'm very happy with the figure. It was just a, a frustrating purchase for me. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for listening to my little rant. Hope you guys are well. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Later.